Hello, my name is Tim Simsky, and today I'll be showing you how to put away your bassoon. The first thing you're going to want to do is put away your reed. No reed means no music. So just take your reed, put it in your reed case, and set your reed case back in your bassoon case. Next, the seat strap. Just put it anywhere in your bassoon case to where it won't damage the bassoon. What I do is I roll it up and then I stick it next to my reed case. Next, the vocal. It just twists off nice and easy and I put it in my vocal case. Now if you don't have a vocal case, same thing with the seat strap, just put it somewhere in the case to where it doesn't damage the bassoon or the vocal. Now let's put the rest of the bassoon away. Next we're going to take our, our bell joint just twist it off, just like the vocal, set it in your bassoon case. Same thing with the long joint. Twist it off, put it in your case. Now for the wind joint, twist off, set this aside for now. And your bassoon is going to be particularly spitty, so to clean it out, you cover this hole, you cover all but one of the tone holes, and you blow through the wing joint to get all the spit out. Now we're going to press each individual key and blow the spit out through those as well. And just to make sure all the spit's out, you take your swab, you put the metal or string in through the joint hole, through the vocal hole, and just pull through. Then wrap this up, put it back in the case, and then to put the wing joint in the case, we take a piece of cloth or foam, and then we put it in between the long joint and the wing joint. Now with the boot joint, we don't blow through the tone holes or any of the keys. We just take a swab, put it through the larger hole, make sure you get the entire rope end through this hole, stick it upside down, shake it until you can reach through the other hole, and just pull through. You set it in your case and wrap up the swab and put it in your case as well. Now that everything's put away, some quick tips. One, every bassoonist has forgotten to put away their seat strap. So right after you put your reed away, put your seat strap away, especially if they go right next to each other in your case. Also, when you swab, make sure you have multiple swabs, at least two. So that way your swab doesn't get too spitty to the point where it doesn't clean out your bassoon. Thanks for watching.